The VAT45 uses a four-wire connection. On each clamp, one jaw is used to measure voltage, and the other jaw is used to apply the load. Both jaws on each clamp must make a good connection to the battery to perform properly. To begin testing, connect the load leads to the battery observing correct polarity. Red for positive, black for negative. The red or positive lead always goes on first and comes off last. Make sure that these connections are sound. Performing tests with poor connections will result in errors. If a side post battery fails a test or you're having trouble establishing a good clamp to battery connection on a side post battery, remove the clamp bolt and replace it with side post adapters. Attach the tester clamp to the round part of the terminal, not the hex portion. Never charge, test, or apply a load to a frozen battery. Charging, testing, or loading a frozen battery could cause the battery to explode. The VAT45 uses advanced circuitry and controls to quickly and accurately test 12-volt automotive battery. It combines the speed and reliability of fixed load technology with the ability to measure the internal impedance of a battery. Once the load leads are connected and the VAT45 finishes its initialization tests, the volts display shows the battery's open circuit voltage readings. If the vehicle has more than one battery, disconnect them and test each one separately. Using the thumb wheel, scroll the selection arrow to select the type of test to be performed. Select test after charge only when you are testing a battery that has recently been recharged. Select initial test to perform a battery test for the first time. Press yes to continue. The tester will now ask the operator to enter battery size, CCA or CA. CCA or cold cranking amps is the rated capacity of the battery at zero degrees Fahrenheit. CA or cranking amps is the rated capacity of a battery at 32 degrees Fahrenheit. The default battery size units are CCA and the range is from 100 to 1500 amps. Scroll to the correct rating for the battery you are testing and press yes. To change the battery size unit, select Options from the main menu and, using the thumb wheel, choose Unit Select. Press Yes to continue and scroll to the correct unit. Press the Yes key to enter the selection. To determine the correct battery rating, you may need to check the information on the battery, check the battery specifications manual, or check the vehicle manufacturer's manual. Press the Yes key to begin testing. The VAT45 begins a pre-programmed test sequence and automatically applies a series of internal loads to the battery. In case of emergency, stop testing immediately by pressing the reset key. The reset key disconnects internal loads and resets the components. Never remove the load leads during a battery test. Use the reset or no key to stop a test. The VAT45 incorporates the most advanced proprietary testing algorithm in the market. Thousands of batteries have been examined and tested to develop the VAT45. Its battery test cycle consists of three phases. First, a load of approximately 100 amps is applied to the battery for 10 seconds. This removes most of the surface charge and provides internal impedance information. The second phase allows the battery to recover for a period of 20 seconds. During this time, the bounce back voltage of the battery is measured. Finally, in the third phase, a load is applied for 15 seconds. The size of the load will vary depending on the size of the battery. The VAT45 then analyzes the data from all three phases and makes a diagnosis. If testing is marginal, the battery core temperature could be a factor. The tester display will indicate enter battery temperature. Use the thumb wheel to select the approximate core temperature, then press the yes key. The tester will use this information to provide an accurate diagnosis. The VAT45 also measures the internal impedance of a battery. It is measured at various times during the testing cycle to provide a more detailed record of the battery's condition. After testing is complete, the message display shows the test diagnosis, battery is good, battery is good needs charging, battery is bad, battery state of charge is too low, recharge and retest. If your VAT45 came with a printer, you may print the test results by following the prompts on the message display. To return to the main menu, press the No key after the printing cycle has finished. Remember, a discharged battery may require several hours of charging, especially if it has been discharged for many days. This is especially true for maintenance-free batteries. If charged long enough, they may return to a good usable state. 
Consult the battery charger manual or the vehicle shop manual to determine the recommended charge time and charging rate.